Hello friends, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Thanks for being here, thanks for watching movies with me, thanks for subscribing, thanks for liking, thanks for commenting, I'm serious, you guys are the best. I um, know there's a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world. I hope that this is a place where you feel comfortable and safe and like you have a friend. It feels weird to watch movies when every time I look at my phone, I'm seeing just horrific things going on. But like I said, I just want this space to be somewhere where people can let their anxieties of the world go and hang out with a friend and watch a movie where we can connect and feel normal for a minute. So thank you again for being here. Okay, tonight I'm watching the movie The Quiet Man from 1952, super old one. Maybe the oldest I've watched? No, I've, I saw Wizard of Oz and other, okay. No, not the oldest I've watched, but old. We're going back. This won our St. Patrick's Day poll on Patreon, just barely, by only 20 votes to the commitment. So many people have such good things to say about this movie for St. Patrick's Day. They told me that it's a yearly tradition to watch it with their family. So I think that sounds so cozy and nice, and I'm so excited to watch it. This will be my first John Wayne film. I was embarrassed to admit on Patreon that before the channel, I thought John Wayne was a past US president. So, <laughs> not the case. He's like this Western cowboy guy, an Irish cowboy, I guess, in this one. We'll see. I'm going into it with knowing nothing about it other than it's Irish based and has John Wayne in it. Remember, if you want to hang out on Patreon as well, We've got a really active Discord that people chat on all day long. Polls and trivia nights, and you always get early access and full length reactions. That is here. If not, don't you worry. A like and subscribe is also so helpful. Let's watch The Quiet Man. Got my green shirt. No pinches for me. For some reason, I thought this would be in black and white. I've heard that name too, Maureen O'Hara. I'll begin at the beginning, when the train pulled into Castletown, three hours late as usual, <laughs> and himself got off. He didn't have the look of an American tourist, not a camera on him, Thanks. not even a fishing rod. Could you tell me the way to Innish Free? You see that road, that yeah? Why, well, don't take that one. Happen you know the way to Nakanoor? If you knew the way to Nakanoor, would he be asking the way to Innish Free? There's many knows <laughs> Nakanoor that doesn't know Innish Free. No, don't be sent another poor man to Nakanoor. <laughs> the fishing is finished there entirely. Now tell me this, Yank. Yank. Is it trout or salmon? So Americans came to Ireland to fish? Was that a thing? See that signpost there. And <laughs> you know it's been burned about. Well, <laughs> in the three? This <laughs> I pictured him to look more rugged, like uh, Clint Eastwood, that's the one. Oh my gosh, look how pretty. I wanna go on a train like that one day. Was that a cool guy move? I like it. Nope, Pittsburgh. Yes, yes. <laughs> Don't you remember, Shani? The road led up past the chapel. Who owns it now? The winter to land. Thinks he'd sell it? Who doubt it? I'll bet on it, because I'm buying it. Now, why would you yank it from... Pittsburgh want to buy it. I'll tell you why, Michaelin Old Glenn, who used to wipe my runny nose when I was a kid. Because I'm Sean Thornton, and I was born in that little cottage. And I've come home, and home I'm gonna stay. Oh my gosh. You are me, Thornton. Sean. <laughs> what do they feed you Irish men on a Pittsburgh? Steal, Michael, <laughs> when you're hard enough. Other things. I wonder how long he's been gone. He said he was just a little boy. I love that they remembered each other. Here comes myself, that tall, saintly looking man. <laughs> Peter Lanark, parish priest. Oh. Too long again. Good day, Father. This is Sean Thornton, home from America. I knew your people, Sean. And your mother. She's dead when I was 12. <gasps> oh, my God. I remember gosh. in the mass tomorrow, you'll be there. Sure, I will. He was an orphan in America at 12? Did you hear the music change there? That was quite the look back. Just like... Oh! Is 
that real? She couldn't be. Ah, nonsense. It's only a mirage brought on by your terrible thirst. How old is he supposed to be? He's still a bachelor. She's a country woman. Herding sheep. Shiny red hair. How can they all tell he's a Yankee? Everyone's just staring. <gasps> Was that her? Oh. Good morning. I don't get it. Oh, the water. Okay, I thought he just scooped up some dirt on the windowsill. Uh, why does she look scared? Who taught you to be playing patty fingers in the holy water? <laughs> Being polite, so. Who is this? And Mary Kate Turner, her dipping her fingers in as neat as you please. I don't know what he just said. Mary Kate Turner. Mary Kate. And don't be getting any notions into your head. Why? Mary Kate. Why Forget it, Sean. She isn't married or anything. Mary Kate. Oh, what the freckles in her temper? That red head of hers is no lie. Still, a man <laughs> might put up with that, but not with a lack of a fortune. Oh. The wealthiest woman in Innisfree was the widow to land. So you were born there, is that it? Yes, ma'am. Oh, so she doesn't live there. She just owns it. It's just that ever since I was a kid, my mother's told me about Innisfree. Oh. Another word for heaven to me. When I quit the when I decided to come here, it was with one thought in mind. The industry is far from being heaven. Mr. Redwill Gunner wishes to be announced. Break your muddy boots. Danaher, that's the same last name as the redhead. Mr. Thornton from America. Ah, boo. <laughs> it's him I'm here about, Mrs. Talan. <laughs> Boo. He's trying to steal a white of morn right from under my nose. So it's true. You've sold it. No, I have not. <laughs> I knew it was a dirty lie the very minute I heard it. I said to him, Peggy McFarlane, you'll never make me believe that Sarah Talim will be selling white of morn. <laughs> I love their accent. And us so close to an understanding, you might say. So you told him all that, did you? That I did. So you may have the land, Mr. Thornton, 600 pounds. Done! 610. How about an even thousand? He's not joking around. I've got you down in my book. Is he planning on moving here? I saw him myself this morning. It's a vacation. Oh, a tall, handsome man, as I was passing the chapel. If you'd passed the pub as fast as you passed the chapel, you'd be better off, you little squint. Oh, is this her family? Get back to the field! It's back to me, gentlemen! Is it a bit early in the day for the bottle? Even for you? dad or her employer? Set down the name. Sean Thornton. Oh! Look at me clean floor. Oh, Dad. such a gob! Clean it up yourself or there won't be any dinner in this house tonight. There now, there now, isn't that grand? But that's all the work you're good for, you little tattletale. Oh, she is fiery. Have you read the name I give you? I have. Strike a line through it. Sean Thornton. Psst. He bought white a morn in spite of you. Good for Widow Talan! Oh, pay no attention to what at all, Squire Dad. You do and there'll be a fine wake in this house tonight. After all, he's got more right to that land than you have. Why does she hate him so much? Good evening. Pleasant night. I'll try one of those black beers. Sir, will you join me? Matter of fact, I'd like to buy everybody a drink. I do not believe I heard your name, tall man. Let's make him friends. Thornton. Sean Thornton. Your father's name? Michael Thornton. He used to live here quite a morning. Just bought the place back. Then your grandfather would be old Sean Thornton. Look at his hat. <laughs> that being the case, it is a pleasant evening, and we will have a drink! <laughs> That's all you had to say, Sean. Who is he, anyway? He's a nice, quiet, peace-loving man come home to Ireland to forget his troubles. Troubles? Yes, he's a millionaire, you know, like, like all the Yanks. He's a millionaire like all the Yanks. <laughs> What is it? A sleeper bag, he calls it. Hey, boy, he's like a, a, a sleeper bag. Hey, wait till show you his operation. Is he really a millionaire? Oh, no. <laughs> now that's some harmonizing. The men of Innisfree bid you welcome home. Thank you. Bid you welcome home. Uh oh, oh. What's wrong with that little speech feeling? Oh, you'd be knowing what's going on. What's a squire? Is that a title? I'm a man from Innisfree, and the best man. And I bid no welcome to any man fool enough to pay a thousand pounds for a bit of land that isn't worth two hundred. Didn't I hear Dana her bidding to eight hundred and ten? Put his name down. <laughs>
I don't blame Mr. Danaher for getting on his ear. Who's on his ear? The point is, it's already done. Oh, another thing. What's his deal? You keep away from my sister, Mary Kate. Sister. She's not for the likes of you. I said good morning to her. Yes, but it was good night you had on your mind. That's a lie. That's uh... That's a what? I said that's a lie. That's a word I take from no man. I'm not going to fight you. But I'm going to fight you. Ah! Uh-oh. What's the matter with you? Come on, Denner, what do you say? Never. You take the man's hand or I'll read your name in the mass on Sunday. <laughs> this guy. What? I'm not sure why he wanted White Morning so bad or what he has against Thornton. Introduce me to this quiet, peace-loving man. Give me a minute, just let some blood run back into this <laughs> thing. His grandfather was hung in Australia. Oh, I could tell you blood. Curdling stories about him, but he throws his gun through. All right, Jacob. <laughs> Nicolene. So they really sing in pubs in Ireland. And they are good at it. They are good at it. Oh, I need to go there. I wonder if this is actually Ireland, like where it was filmed, I mean. Are you sure you won't change your mind, Sean? Don't worry about it. Got my sleeping bag, haven't I? I feel like this place might be a fixer-upper for him. I need to know his story. What happened to him after his mom died when he was so young? Someone started a fire for him? <gasps> Did she clean up for him? Okay, here's my question. If Danahue, her brother, he obviously had money, he wanted to buy this place, why was her lack of fortune, would that be there? Yeah! Oh! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> but who gave you leave to be kissing me? So you can talk. More than talk you'll be getting if you step a step closer to me. Don't worry, you got a wallop. You'll get over it. Some things a man doesn't get over so easy. Like the sight of a girl coming through the fields, kneeling in church, the face like a saint. Saint indeed. Come into a man's house to clean it for him. That was just by way of being a good Christian act. And I was nicer. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was so, what's the word? Um prompt <laughs> that kiss just pulls her back in and lays it on her okay this cottage is adorable hello good, good morning, morning mr. mr thornton, thornton. no no mr not formal occasions the reverend mr playfair <laughs> and this is mrs playfair they are so cute thornton there's a familiar ring to it ring to it Common name. What? He's told everyone else who he was. Why doesn't he want to tell them? That's a fine big bed you have, Mr. Thompson. Biggest one I could find. She does have a very pretty saintly face. A man would have to be a sprinter to catch his wife in a bed like that. I don't understand. Why is that bed unique? And what are you all dressed up for? I am. I'll come. I can see that. But what from is whose this? pub are you listening and not be interrupting? The matchmaker. I'll come. <laughs> at the request of Thorn Shorten. Sean Thornton. Sure. Thorne. Mary Kate and her spins. Oh. Well. Go on. Go on. You were saying. My mouth is like a dry crust and the oh. sun is that hot. Would you be stepping into the parlor? So did Sean send him all dressed up with his little flower to deliver a message to her? He wants to know if you go for it. And if you do, I'll speak to your brother. Go for what? A date? Oh, no, tell me, what did Sean say about my fortune? He says it's all want him if you come in the clothes on your back. Or without them. <gasps> He wants to marry her? All this furniture is mine, but china and linen, 50 pounds in gold my father left me, 30 pounds I've earned this past 15 years. You're a well property woman. I wouldn't mind marrying you myself. He's asking her to marry him? Is this like three years have passed? I'm no pauper to be going to him in my shift. He was just saying he doesn't. Oh, she knows. She knows. What answer will I give Sean Thornton and Mary Kate Danaher? You can tell him from me that... Come on. That I go for it. I feel like her brother's gonna lose his mind. <laughs> oh. 
Okay. <laughs> how do I look? You look fine. I like how he's his little business. I don't know. I'll worry. <laughs> Mr. Anna, we would like a word with your brother. Easy now. <laughs> Easy! Giving the woman flowers! <laughs> Miss Mary Kate Danner Spinster. Mr. Thornton from Pittsburgh, USA. <laughs> USA. <clears throat> this way, please. Oh, the style of acting is obviously so different, but if you just kind of. This is my brother, Leave Mr. The room. Yes, sir. You've been making fine progress with the winter salon then in the last 10 years. Oh, is that what you've come to talk about? I've come to talk about your sister Mary Kate and him. Oh, get out! Come on, Michaelina, I told you to do no good. How come her brother is the boss? Like, does he have to give permission? I thank you anyway, Sean Thornton, for the asking. You don't think this changes anything. It's what you say that counts, not him. Yes! Hey, you've gone too fast. What is this? We're gonna get married, are we? Are these Irish rules or living in the 50s rules? This is Ireland, Sean, not America. Oh, Without her brother's consent, she couldn't and wouldn't. Oh. I still don't really understand what the brother has so against him. Why he ah, those were the bad days. Sean with a face as dark as the black hunter he rode. It was only a matter of time before one of the other broke his neck. We knew things couldn't go on this way. Ah, be nice to the horse. Hello, Mary Kate. Dan or her? Good morning. Go kiss her again for fun. <laughs> Dang it. So we formed a little conspiracy. We formed a conspiracy. And on the day of the Innisfree races, we sprung the trap on Dan or her. <gasps> Bagpipes make me almost instantly cry because we played them all my grandparents' funerals. Will all the lovely ladies place their bonnets on the finishing line? What does that mean? Will you not be putting up your bonnet, Mary Kay? Indeed, I will not. What does that mean, put up your bonnet? Okay, Micheline, the widow's bonnet. Will all the gentlemen riders please go to the starting line? That was cute. If you've been doing any matchmaking between Thornton and my widow, why do you suppose the widow to learn has stood you off so long? What woman would come into the house with another woman in it? If you got rid of Mary Kate, the widow would have been in like a shot. Oh, this is the conspiracy. Father Lonigan. Well, I can't say it's true and I won't say it's not, but there's been talk. Oh, a lot of talk. Two women in the house and one of them are rated. <laughs> three are fathers and three Hail Marys. I'm a little sad they're using Widow Tulane. Tulane. Are they playing games with each other now? He didn't even look at her. No bonnet, Mary Kate? What a pity. Like, if you get to the bonnet, you get to marry them? Would that be a thing? <laughs> this is fun. Wow. Oh, there he is. It's so beautiful. Look at that crazy dinner. Wouldn't it be wonderful if he broke his blasted neck? He is not a popular man. So is this the cowboy part of John Wayne? I guess he didn't play a cowboy in this one. <laughs> this is so cute, this horse race with all the people. It's like far and away. Except I think they're racing for wives, not land. <gasps> he took your bonnet, Sarah. No one took her bonnet? It's part of the plan though, right? You rode like a trooper. Trooper Thorn, of course. I wish you'd keep it under your hat. I mean, forget it. It will be our secret. Trooper Thorn. Huh? Your bonnet, Mrs. Talan. A cup for the winner. Does your offer still stand? That depends. 350 pounds and not another penny. He's gonna let him marry her? Is this it? Is this the wedding? I'm permitting this man to court my sister. To court my sister. That's all this is? Mr. Flynn, do you assume the full responsibility? I do. I don't understand this system. Let the courting commence. They have to have a shuffle? Yeah, none of that, no, none of that. Get on the other side of the car. What? What? This is not the wedding. They're just going on a date. All this was for a date. I don't get this. Back in the States, I'd honk the horn. I know a woman to be honked at and cover up. <laughs> America. Oh, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Prohibition. You're the quietest couple I ever courted. Maybe if you left. Well, let you do a healthy mile to get used to walking correctly. No patty fingers, if you please. Patty fingers. Little does he know. Barely smooched. Okay, there you go. Back up a little. Pretty bonnet you have on. Bonnet? After leaving mine stuck up there like it. Easy now. Have the good manners not to hit the man until he's your husband and until he'll hit you back. <laughs> Explain yourself, Mr. Torton. I have a fearful temper. We Danahers are a fighting people. You can think of a lot of things I'd rather do to one of the Danahers. Mr. Torton, what will Mr. Flynn be thinking? <laughs> he looks like Bilbo. Can you ride a bike? Well, what are we waiting for? Sean! <gasps> the tandem bike! Stop it right now. Come back here, boys, you shameless hussy! You shameless hussy! I think you have more sense than I have myself. <laughs> the horse just knew to stop at his usual place. Okay, that is the cutest thing. I do need them to talk more before they get married. He's hiding something from someone. His identity or something, or what he did back in the States. What's happening? I love how him looking while she was taking off her like nylons was like scandalous. Catch me. If anybody had told me I'd be in a graveyard with a girl that I'm just about to kiss, I'd have told them... Oh, but the kiss is a long way off. Next month, we, we'd start the walking out together, and the month after that, there'll be the thrashing parties. Nope. Nope, he says. Why does she look so scared? I mean, I'm scared of thunderstorms too, but like, she looks like she sees a ghost. Kiss in the rain. Kiss in the rain. Why did he have that look on so his face? So they were married. What in the world? Why did they both look like not happy and terrified? To a successful conspiracy. So did the widow and the brother? A toast. May their days be long and full of happiness. And may they live in peace and freedom. Oh, that was a sweet toast. I've got a little announcement to make. Where is this going, <coughs> Mr. Danaher? I've given my sister in marriage, and now she's gone from the house of Danaher. But what's in a house without a woman? What's a house without a woman in it? What's a house without a woman in it? <laughs> Where would any man of us be without a woman? Here, here. I will give you a toast to myself, who is soon to be wed. When's the happy day, Sarah, darling? You lost the little sense you were born with. Who gave you the right to make such an announcement? Uh, but Sarah, I also said, didn't you tell me? I didn't, I didn't. Oh, oh, you lied, didn't you? Okay, don't ruin your You're right. day. My own priest. Okay, I feel a little bit sad for him. You gotta buy fraud and falsity. This is something you won't get. Now or ever. Now get out of here. Come on, let's go. Get out. Not without my fortune. And I'm not good. <gasps> Wait, what? What? Flashback? Trooper Thorne. He was a boxer. <gasps> Steady, Trooper. Steady. Let's go home. That was an eventful day. So he was a boxer and he killed a man. What? Why did they look so sad? Ever since I was a little girl, I dreamed of having my own things about me. And my own chairs to rest upon. And my own china and pewter shining about me. Why can't she have that? Seems like a lot of fuss and grief over it. Little furniture and stuff. Ooh, not the right line, Sean. Don't touch me. You have no right. What do you mean, no right? I'll wear your ring. I'll cook. What? And I'll keep the land. But that is all. Until I've got my dowry safe about me. I'm no married woman. That's ridiculous. You're my wife. They, they what is this? 300 years of happy dreaming in those things of mine. and I'll have it and I know it. I'll say no other word to you. All right. You'll have your dowry or whatever you call it. Okay, Sean. Well, get it then. Just realize that that is important to her. For a reason you and I both do not understand. 
Oh boy. There'll be no locks or bolts between us except those in your own mercenary little heart. Uh, does she want this? <laughs> that was very uncomfortable. John. Hodges sleep. Don't be shaming me, please, in front of your friends. Oh, okay. I do not understand these customs. Is that all her stuff? I kind of get it, like she didn't have things of her own in her brother's house, she was like his maid. And so it was important to her that she have this dowry so she could feel like she was like the other women, that she was worth it, I think. After you left last night, a couple of us persuaded Danaher to change his mind. My things. Oh, oh be careful. Where did you want this? Mighty handy. <laughs> it was my mother's and my mother's mother's before. Ay, ay, ay. We're sorry about the dowry, Mary Kate. I'll let him keep it. Keep my fortune. If it means that much to him. He's not understanding. What manner of man is it that I have married? A better one, I think, than you know, Mary Kate. <laughs> Impetuous. <laughs> so are they like good now? Are you planting roses? Yeah. Not a turnip or a cabbage or a potato on the plate. Our plate. children. Have they been married for a while now and haven't been able to have children? Well, let's see. We need a plow and a cultivator. Well, why not a tractor? Nasty, smelly things. And besides, they're an awful price. We could do our shopping in Castletown. Be there and back by supper time. Five miles. That's just a good stretch of the legs. Get on your walking shoes. <laughs> I like how that's a five-mile walking outfit. So you're not a woman to be honked at, huh? Why, it's beautiful. It's only one horsepower, but it's all yours. Think you can drive it? Hold on to your hat. Okay, that's cute. He hasn't told her about his financial situation. <laughs> Cattle through the middle of town. <laughs> now then, let's have another fight. And I'm buying this one. Good health to you. What's he up to? He sold the crossbreds. Now is a good time to ask him. He can't say that he hasn't got it with him now. I don't give a hang about the money. But he does. And that's the whole point of it. Oh. Now will you go and ask him? Why shame ourselves? The shame's on you and on me too if I've married a coward. That's not... Is that what you think of me? What else if you let him rob you out of my money? Money. Is that all you Danahers think about? Money? <laughs> I feel like they're on different pages. They just talked about, she says, this is why it's important to me. And he says, this is why it doesn't matter to me because I love you and don't care about the money. And I feel like everything will be okay. She's making him walk home. <laughs> I'm just like a little kid move. Just like pick up a stick just to break it. I've been trying to get this one for but ten father, years. But father, I've got to talk to you. It's important. Oh, there he is. Could I tell you in the Irish? Ah, sha, 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 sha. Lick me, Marcellus, chuck him on Lebanon. What? Are we supposed to not know this? Get yeah, the shin bag. Ireland may be a poor country, but here a married man sleeps in a bed and not a bag. <gasps> I'll tell you what this. Hush, hush! There he is! Oh, That's the one I've been waiting for for ten oh, long years. Keep... So they haven't slept together yet because of the dowry? I got him! You got him, father! God help us! I don't understand what just happened. Keep the bag. What is with them in the sleeping bag? <laughs> <laughs> ah! You're gonna set Ireland on fire! Oh. I wanna talk to you. You know what I came for. Just ask for it, Yank, and you'll be chewing your teeth for a week. <laughs> They're fighting Thornton! <laughs> this is not going well. Before movies. <laughs> Do you play Tiddlywinks? Maybe I shouldn't have butted in. How's your lovely bride? Fine. Say goodnight to Mr. Thornton. Good night, Mr. Thornton. Good night, Cyril. Good night, Elizabeth. Pleasant dreams. <laughs> oh, man. Well, since you know who I am, or was, you know why I don't want to fight him. I was reading about it again this evening. That is, heavyweight challenger hangs up gloves after fatal knockout. 
Tony Godello was a good egg. Nice little wife and home. A couple of kids, clean fighter. But I didn't go in there to outbox him. I went in there to beat his brains out, to murder him. What? For what? Lousy money. I think I'm afraid to fight him. <sighs> Aren't you in a way? For big fortune. It's not that important. Must be strange to you from America. Yes. But it's an old, old custom here. The fortune means more to her than just the money. To me, it isn't worth fighting for. Tell is your him. wife's love worth fighting for? Tell him what the fortune means to her. Don't underestimate Dana. He's got a tremendous right and a jaw of granite. <sighs> I don't want them to fight. That is the last thing this situation needs. Maybe he should go tell his wife this talk. It was a trinity. All right. <laughs> Would you join me in a glass of... You'll be in training now, of course. No! Just go talk to her! I used to be a boxer. I accidentally killed a man for money. That's what I cared about before. But now I don't because I realize it's not worth it. So that's my point of view. Did you have any supper? I'm not hungry. The drink sometimes does that. I haven't had anything to drink. If you want to know, I was talking to the vicar. That's strange. I had a long talk with Father Lonergan. This might be a big step for them. Okay, still no communication though. Oh. Woman of the house! Save your breath. She's gone from you. Will you drive me to the train, says she? <gasps> Why? I love him too much to go on living with a man I'm ashamed of. Oh my gosh. Why is she ashamed of him? Because he won't fight her brother? This is so bizarre. They finally like connected last night, right? The train already being four and a half hours late. It's, it's my fault, John <laughs> Bailey. <laughs> they you know. knew your country's history as well as your claim. These guys. Well, thank goodness for that. Are they about to fight each other? <laughs> Down to her, Lucy versus the Yank. These people like fighting. Okay. He's walking her back the whole long way. One by land, two by sea, and if it's Down to her, further the lot. I don't understand. The drinks turn on the house. Well, they are. <laughs> the whole town is falling. <gasps> Be nice to her. <gasps> Don't love that. It's only five miles. <gasps> Just a good stretch of the legs. Ooh. You have lost your shoe. Thank you very kindly, sir. Whoa. Oh, I would be so mad. Oh, I would be so mad. Yep. <gasps> he's dragging her like a dog. I think he's a good man, but yikes. Here's a good stick to beat the lovely lady. Thanks. <gasps> oh my gosh. He's walking her the whole way back. Your in-laws are coming to visit you. I still think this is the wrong way to solve things, but what do I know? Oh, <gasps> will you stop it? Danaher, you owe me 350 pounds. I'll pay you. Never. Oh. That breaks all bargains. You can take your sister back. No fortune, no marriage. Oh my gosh. You do this to me. After it's what done. I... How could he do that to her? There's your dirty money. If ever I see that face of yours again, I'll push that through it. Charge it! I'll be going on home now. I'll have the supper ready for you. What did I just see? That was a dirty blow, Sean! Oh, boy! <gasps> Don't kill him. That would just be so horrific. Okay. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen! I kind of feel sad for Danaher. The Marquis of Queensbury rules will be observed. Marquis of Queensbury rules, mind you now, Squire. Okay with me, Micheline. 
Thanks. Shake hands and come out fighting. I thank you. Hey, this is Queensberry Road. Come on, get up, Marcus. Queensberry. Who said he played? I all fought and beat him senseless. I'm the best man in industry, as though I didn't know that. She does love him? Well, give a man a hand, then. Don't do it. Don't be dirty. Oh, yep. <laughs> hand of a hundred battles, the blood of a thousand wounds. He's going to hop out of bed. <laughs> Father Lanigan, it's, it's a big fight in the town. And there's a big fight in this fish uh, right here. Danaher and Sean Thornton. Well, why the devil didn't you tell me? <laughs> Father, shouldn't we put a stop to it now? Yes, we should. It's our duty. Well, show us who's winning, at least. That does not seem helpful. You're a good fight, man. I'll say that for you. It's been a pleasure beating you. <laughs> he likes those cheap shots. Oh, there they go again. Where are they getting these buckets of water? How about a drink before you kill yourself? That's a good idea. The people from Valley Glone are coming over by bus. Let's go. Principal Does that mean the fight's over? That's just the end of round one. Uh. What? They're gonna go in, have a drink together, and then go out and start fighting again. You know, Yank, I've taken quite a likeness to you. I'm getting <laughs> real fond of you, too. Fill them up again. You'll buy me no drinks. Drinks around the house. I'm buying the drinks. What is th I'm buying. Just stop being so prideful. What time is it? Half past five, sir. Glory <gasps> beach! There was a wild colonial boy in a place called Castlemaine. They fought to friendship? I have brought the brother home to supper. He is kindly welcome. So are they done fighting now? Why is she happy about this? Why is she happy they've been fighting all day? <laughs> No petty fingers, if you please. <laughs> oh. Hold on your hat. Okay, that's pretty cute. He let them sit on the same side. Catch me if you can. <laughs> so the fight solved everything. Okay. So these older movies definitely have a different style of acting, the longing, overdramatic looks, and I don't know. It's just hard to get used to it. I'm not used to seeing movies from this genre. But I can appreciate how entertaining and funny it was even 70 years later. So I, wow, 70 years. 20, 52, 2022. I loved the Irish townspeople and the scenery was stunning and I want to go to Ireland. The relationship and courting is just so different. It was almost shocking. And the whole like semi-abusive parts were kind of weird. I don't know what to think of that. It's funny just like they got married, they loved each other, but then they were just like immediately out of the honeymoon phase, but then they would reconnect. But it was just so weird that like their issue was this money and the brother. And like I said during the reaction, like I get both sides of you, but it all could have been solved with some honesty and communication. <laughs> I mean, I can appreciate that it's a classic and the Irish accents, all the priests being in on the fighting and the bedding was super funny. Obviously it's different how they portray romances now in movies and back then and just romance in general was different back then so so that's John Wayne. Okay he wasn't a cowboy in this one he was a boxer. If you look too deeply at the message it's like <laughs> he swore he would never fight again because he realized it wasn't worth it but then did and it kind of solved everything so I mean, I'll go with it. I'm glad I saw this classic. He had a sweet smile. She had the spiciness about her. And even though I wanted them to like show their happiness more in the end, I will take it as they 
ran off with the pretend pushing and cutie pie-ness. Okay, thank you so much for watching along with me. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I'll see you soon.